what I was particularly interested in around the kind of late 90s, early noughties was a, a kind of a backlash uh, against feminism and a backlash against what would have been seen maybe as progressive uh, images of, of the new man in popular media. My research has kind of sat in a space between social science and humanities for a while. Um, and I suppose I keep coming back to that in ways and that I'm looking at, um, you know, I'm, I'm working within a media studies framework. I'm interested in, in the broader kind of sociological factors that um, that contribute to these phenomena within the manosphere as well. So I think it's really problematic when we just look at, you know, these groups of, you know, we call them kind of toxic groups and we look at their key characteristics, we look at what platforms they operate on, we look at their communicative strategies. The research on, uh, on incels is looking at the incel phenomenon. It's even difficult to say incel communities or incel groups because they're so disparate and not really homogenous. So, you know, to look at how, how incel um, has evolved and to look at it through the lens of intimacy. My question is to what extent do these spaces provide the kind of um, support and intimacy that their adherents hope to achieve or, or believe that they, they can provide to them. And so I'm looking at those, you know, a kind of series of, of, of failures in intimacy in that regard. But I think where the big gaps are and where we really need to see an awful lot more research is on the, the whole question of entry into that space and how, I mean, the term radicalization is, is generally used to, you know, explain how people become drawn into extreme groups with, in the case of the alt-right, for example. So I think we need to look more at that at those processes uh, and not just at this kind of question of algorithmic radicalization you know recommender functions or uh, how, how you know how the various technological affordances of different social media platforms work to pull people into more extreme space but other stuff like how does humor work how memes work uh, etc to kind of normalize um, a lot of this deeply misogynistic, uh, very often um, discourse and how young men in particular predominantly get pulled into this.